Hi, in this video I thought we'd take a quick look at the click event handlers in uh, Data Hub WebView just to give you an explanation of some of the event handlers that are available for the different controls. So on the page here I can show you I have a, an, a, an ellipse control and all controls now have uh, a set of common events and these are um, event handlers so that we can attach script whenever these events fire. And the common events include uh, on initialization, so this event would fire when the control is put on the page during the page load process. And we also have an event that fires when the specific control is removed from the page, either when you navigate to another page or when you uh, close the page. Um, we have an on mouse enter event so that when the mouse moves over the control the event will fire. Uh, we have a mouse leave which is the same but in reverse as we move out of the control space the event will fire. Then there's also an event for um, that fires continuously uh, as the mouse moves so each mouse move event will create uh, an on move event. Uh, we have a, a left button down and a left button up click events and then a mouse wheel if the mouse has a wheel um, when you move the wheel within uh, over a, a control that event will fire and as you can see I've added a simple script that throws up a message box um, whenever the on mouse enter event is fired. So let's just have a quick look at that. If I enter run mode and move over my control you can see that uh, I have entered the ellipse space. This is the message from that event that fires when I scroll over the mouse or move the mouse over the control. Now in addition to common events some uh, web views uh, controls such as symbols and buttons also have a set of custom events. If we take a look at these, just to shrink this down, you can see that for a symbol for example we have an on click event and if we hover over this says you can enter a script in the property that fires when a symbol is clicked. It says regardless of the logical checked or unchecked state and you'll see that I have uh, another message box uh, that will pop up when we click on the symbol. That's in addition to the common events that we have. And you'll see that the common events for on left mouse button down and on mouse left button up have a information which says that this event does not fire when the user clicks on the symbol itself. That's because this custom event will fire when we click on the symbol. This event, the common event, will fire if we click on the background container that uh, contains this symbol. So let's just have a look at that. One of my scripts says clicked on the symbol itself, the other one says clicked on the background container. So this event handler will fire or this event will fire when I click on the symbol and this event will fire when I click on the background. So let's take a look at this. If I click on the symbol itself I get the message for the click of the uh, custom click event. If I click on the background background container I get the um, event handler firing for uh, the background container, the one that was in the common events. Now this can be a little confusing so I thought I'd explain um, the difference between these two click events and why we have the message that says that this particular event, the common event for la left mouse button down and left mouse button up, these do not fire when you click on the symbol itself. They're associated with the background container. Now, um, some uh, controls, such as a button, 
have uh, a similar thing. They have a custom event. You'll see I have a click, an on click message there for I clicked on the button. And again, they have mess a message that says this event does not fire when you click on the button itself. But I have a, um, a similar message that will be displayed when we click on the background container. Now the interesting thing about this is that this button um, consumes the full space, covers all of the space of the background container. So if I click on it, I will get um, the event for clicking on the button. And there's no place, or, um, because the button consumes the whole of the area, there's no background for me to click on uh, for this button. But I can show you that this will actually fire if I come down to the background properties and let's just say we're going to put in a content margin of 10 and I'll just make it a bit easier to see we'll change the color of the underlying um, background container. Now if we go into run mode when I click on the button I still get my event for clicking on the button but if I click on the background this is the background container so the common event fired for uh, when I clicked on the background container and that's analogous to clicking on the background of a symbol so I just wanted to produce this short video because it could be confusing as to why we have two on-click events for some controls such as a symbol or a button one of the um, whenever we have custom events they relate to the actual symbol or the actual um, button uh, within the containing object and our common events for mouse button uh, left button down and left button up they refer to clicking on the background container or if there's no custom events basically it's clicking on the object itself so if you have any other questions about this, we have more information in the WebView scripting documentation.